This is Denza D9, a full-size MPV with very luxury interior and a plug-in system. You probably have never heard of this brand before, but you must be familiar with the companies behind it. Because it's 90% of BYD, leader of Chinese EV, and 10% of Mercedes-Benz, inventor of cars. Interestingly, these two well-established brands have never actually built a proper MPV. All they made was stuff like this. But they did produce this, one of the best-selling MPVs in the Chinese market. And today, I'm not going to tell you the inside out of it. Instead, I'm going to show you why this kind of luxury MPV might become increasingly prominent. I'm Harris, you're watching Matt EV. In 1984, Renault launched its best, inventing the word MPV. But decades later, MPVs that have a proper size have been facing a total annihilation in Europe. Volkswagen Schramm was discontinued in 2021 and Citroën C4 Space Tourer in 2022. Even Renault, the MPV inventor, was pulling the plug on this bus, along with its little brother, Scenic. The only things that are somewhat close to an MPV in Europe are these small MPVs based on hatchback chassis and those light commercial vans. Why? Because except from the expensive fuel costs, heavy tax on size, and narrow roads, the functionality-focused Europeans are the main reason. If they want good handling, they will choose a saloon or hatchback. If they want practicality, a wagon or SUV will do the job. And if they want to maximize space, a van, which also originated in Europe, will be the perfect choice. So you can see that the word multi-purpose does not match the focused personality of Europeans. In comparison, the Americans are different. They do not need an extremely low fuel efficiency. What they really want is big. Nothing is unsolvable if you make the car bigger, put a larger engine in it, and give it more features. Even they call MPV minivan. It's still a big fella with more than 5 meter length, nearly 2 meter width, and a V6 engine. Even then, people are still screaming, I want my V8 motor! But actually, this full-size MPV designed with American preferences in mind were made popular by Asians. Apart from the uh, Chrysler Pacifica and its Dodge cousin, Toyota Senna, Honda Odyssey, and Kia Carnival have basically seized the entire US MPV market. In the meantime, GM's MPV were based on the Chevrolet Lumina APV was cut off long ago, and Ford, well, surprise, they didn't even make any MPV on the US soil. And don't get me started on the GMC Savannah or the Ford E350, because they are just not minivans, okay? Even by the American standard. At this point, you may realize that these big MPVs are only good in the hands of calculated agents. Because what these cars need is the extreme optimization of space, considerate features, and ultimate comfort. And these are exactly what Asian automakers, especially Japanese and Chinese ones, accept that. But a good MPV should have more to offer. In addition to hauling the family and stuff, it can also be the ultimate executive luxury car. Despite the different attitude towards MPV between Europe and America, the rich and celebrities share the same thought. They just don't give a damn. The thing is, MPVs, which are clearly for family or commercial usage, have never really caught their attention. The rich folks, who are pretty meticulous about their choices, seem to only go for those fancy limos like the Mercedes S-Class, or the Rolls-Royce Phantom, or those big SUVs like the Range Rover or the Bentley Bentayga to meet their everyday travel need. Or do them! Because you see, in the entire Asian Pacific area, the Toyota Alphard and other luxury MPVs are already a must-have for the rich. Let's look at China, where this trend is even more notable. Whether it's a rich guy cruising around in a Porsche 911 or Mercedes G-Wagon, there's a pretty good chance they will spot an Alphard or something similar in their garage. These vehicles seem to be their go-to when they want a comfortable trip. Actually, this whole thing in China is shaped by some unique backgrounds, but we have to give credits to MPVs, because when it comes to a smooth and comfy rides, they are just number one choice. 
No matter if it's a big saloon or SUV, we drew a family in the back of these rides is essentially to comfortable sofas. But in MPV, you will get ample vertical space and a proper square inside. It offers not only two cozy sofas, but also a small living room. Just think about it, when you're sitting for a while and you're itching to stretch your legs, only an MPV guarantees you won't accidentally kick something. And compared to those large passenger vans that also offer such space, an MPV certainly has a quieter cabin, a comfier ride, and a more refined interior. Let's not forget, besides those limons that have symbolic meanings, most full-size saloons are heading towards a groomy path. Rolls-Royce Phantom and Bentley Mosaic were already dropped. Mercedes S-Class and BMW 7 Series are shifting their focus more towards driver's experience. So the only type of car left that is dedicated to give us the best real seat experience might be the MPV. And now being electrified, MPVs are infused with renewed vitality. I mentioned earlier that luxury MPVs are very popular in China, and one of the reasons is influence of Hong Kong celebrities. Just like Hollywood stars, actors in Hong Kong also need a mobile home. But in Hong Kong, where every square inch of the land is worth its weight in gold, those RVs, campers, or huge trailers are really not suitable for the crowded cities. So the high-end MPV that has a small size but a big room became their best choice on set. Almost every activity during a downtime, like eating, resting, and putting on makeup, can all be done in MPV. And electrification will make an MPV more capable of dealing with all these scenarios because they share one thing in common, idling. For ice cars, idling is not a good activity. Even if you can endure the noise, tail gas, and fuel cost, the engine will suffer. So apart from giving this car a better acceleration, longer range, higher fuel efficiency, and stronger body rigidity, the plug-in system is making it suitable for everything stationary such as waiting, having a meeting, or whatever they like to do. Uh, drawbacks? Uh, technically, the big battery of the plug-in system usually takes up a lot of space, and you can tell from the uh, height of the floor. Uh, but judging from what I just did, it seems pretty fine. For most of us, car is only a means of transport. But thanks to a unique interior layout, ultimate comfort, and abundant features, with a little help from the electric motor, MPV has become more than that. It's very capable of being a living room, a meeting room, or even a bedroom, which may open up some new possibilities for this otherwise mundane people hauling vehicle. This year, Denza D9 was at the Bangkok Auto Show and will also be at Munich Auto Show. We don't know yet where exactly will it be on sale outside China, but if it does, would you choose this as the ultimate traveling vehicle? If you are rich. <laughs>